Hello there everyone and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Fish, Bugs and Deep Sea Critters update. Today we're going to be looking at all the critters leaving Animal Crossing New Horizons in the month of August, or more specifically at the end of the month of August. So as of this video launching you have one month to round up everything detailed here today and then they'll be gone until they return once again. Before I dive in, if you haven't already please leave me a like, please leave me a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I do these videos every single month, so hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the critters, comings and goings in Animal Crossing. Now let's dive into the video and start with the Northern Hemisphere as always. Okay, let's start by looking at the fish leaving at the end of August in the Northern Hemisphere. First up is the frog. Shadow size two, could be caught all day, is found in ponds and is worth 120 bells. The killifish, which is a shadow size one, available to be caught all day, is found in ponds and is worth 300 bells. And the giant snakehead is shadow size 5, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, is available in ponds and is worth 5,500 bells. Next up is the Napoleon fish, it's a shadow size 6, can be caught between 4am and 9pm, is found in the sea and is worth 10,000 bells. And finally the squid, which is a shadow size 3, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 500 bells. These are the only fish leaving the Northern Hemisphere at the end of August, so you have a month to catch these five if you haven't already. Let's have a little look at the bugs. Okay, quite a lot of bugs are leaving the Northern Hemisphere this month, including a lot of the big money bugs. So you've got a month to round these all up. Let's get started. The common blue bottle will be leaving. That could be caught between 4 a.m. and 7 p.m. Found flying around in the air and it's worth 300 bells. The great purple emperor can be caught between 4 a.m. and 7 p.m. It's found flying around and is worth 3,000 bells. The brown cicada, which can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found on tree trunks and is worth 250 bells. The robust cicada, which can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found on tree trunks and is worth 300 bells. The giant cicada, which can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found on tree trunks, worth 500 bells. The evening cicada, which can be caught twice a day, once between 4am and 8am, and then again 4pm to 7pm, is found on tree trunks and is worth 550 bells. The cicada shell, which can be caught all day, is found on tree trunks and is worth a measly 10 bells. The jewel beetle, which can be caught all day on tree stumps, so that's the cut down tree stumps, is worth 2,400 bells. The blue weevil beetle can be caught all day, is found on palm tree trunks specifically and is worth 800 bells. The scarab beetle, which can be caught between 11pm and 8am, is found on tree trunks and is worth 10,000 bells. The drone beetle, which can be caught all day, is found on tree trunks and is worth 200 bells. And the saw stag, which can be caught all day, is found on tree trunks and is worth 2,000 bells. Carrying on with the stags now, they're all leaving us, they've not been around for long but they're going already. The Mayama stag can be caught all day, it's found on tree trunks and is worth 1000 bells. The giant stag can be caught between 11pm and 8am, is found on tree trunks and is worth 10,000 bells. The cyclomatus stag can be caught between 5pm and 8am, is found specifically on palm tree trunks and is worth 8,000 bells. My old friend the golden stag, I'll get his price right this time, can be caught between 5pm and 8am, can be found specifically on palm tree trunks and is worth 12,000 bells, not 1,000 bells. The giraffe stag can be caught between 5pm and 8am, is found specifically on palm tree trunks and is worth 12,000 bells. The Horned Dynastid can be caught between 5pm and 8am, is found on palm tree trunks and is worth 1,350 bells. I told you a lot of bugs were leaving, this is the last three. Horned Atlas can be caught between 5pm and 8am, is found specifically on palm tree trunks and is worth 8,000 bells. The Horned Elephant can be caught between 5pm and 8am on palm tree trunks and is worth 8,000 bells. And the Horned Hercules also can be caught between 5pm and 8am on palm tree trunks and is worth a little more at 12,000 bells. That's all the bugs leaving the Northern Hemisphere at the end of August. A lot to round up. If you haven't caught them already, you've got a month as of this time to go and get them all. So get catching. Okay, on to the deep sea critters leaving at the end of August. There are two leaving the Northern Hemisphere. We have the vampire squid, which is a shadow size large, could be caught between 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. It has a quick long lunging pattern of movement and is worth 10,000 bells. And then the sea pineapple is a shadow size small, can be caught all day long, has a slow long lunging pattern of movement and is worth 1,500 bells. That is everything leaving the Northern Hemisphere at the end of August. Let's jump over to the Southern Hemisphere and find out what's leaving there. 
Okay, a couple of fish leaving the southern hemisphere. We have the pond smelt. Shadow size 2 can be caught all day long, is found in rivers and is worth 500 bells. And the blowfish, shadow size 3, can be caught between 9pm and 4am, is found in the sea and is worth 5,000 bells. Just the two fish to round up in August before they disappear. Let's have a look at the bugs. A few bugs leaving as well. The Raja Brooks bird wing can be caught between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's found flying around in the air and is worth 2,500 bells. The damsel fly can be caught all day long, is found flying around in the air and is worth 500 bells. And finally, the dung beetle, which can be caught all day long, is found rolling snowballs around on the ground, is worth 3,000 bells. So three bugs, you have one month left to round them all up. And the final three critters leaving us at the end of August in the Southern Hemisphere are as follows. The Venus Flower Basket. Shadow size medium, can be caught all day long, has a quick long lunge movement pattern and is worth 5,000 bells. The Sweet Shrimp. Shadow size small, can be caught between 4pm and 9am. It has a short slow movement pattern and is worth 1,400 bells. And the Sea Pig has a shadow size of small, can be caught between 4pm and 8am, has quick long lunging movement pattern and is worth 8,000 bells. And that brings us to the end. These are all the critters that are leaving Animal Crossing both in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere at the end of August. So as of this point, you have around 30 days, about one month to catch all of these creatures if you haven't done so already. Hopefully this video will help you get them all before the month's up. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, as I say, please do leave a like, please do leave a comment and hit subscribe if you enjoy my content. Please have a look around the channel. I do a lot of other things. I do playthroughs, I do silly games, I do, I do all sorts of stuff. So take a look around and see if you like what I do. If you do, I'd love it if you hit subscribe. It means the world to me when you do. I'll see you soon for another one, guys. I'll be back at the end of August for the September updates. And until then, I'll see you soon. Hope you're well. Take care. See you later.